Hi everyone, my name is Sean, and what I thought I'd share with you today is my custom tied fly jigs. I discovered these jigs a few years ago while fishing for trout in the eastern Sierras, and I discovered that they work really well and that they're a nice unique twist to traditional fly fishing and mini jig fishing. So I decided to go ahead and try tying my own, and I found out that the ones I tied actually work much better than the ones that I was buying in stores and online. These flies are a great alternative to fly fishing, and you can fish them easily on spinning gear, so they're much more versatile and much easier to use. After having such great success with these jigs, I thought I'd share them with the public and start selling them. Well, what I'm going to do now in this video is show you exactly the different kinds of jigs I'm selling. This first jig, I call the Kip Tail Jig because it's made from Kip Tail. This is probably my most effective uh, jig for fishing for trout rainbows, browns, and steelhead. It also works well on bluegill and other panfish. I would say that this kiptail jig is my go-to bait. This is the first jig that I'll use when I'm starting to fish, and it has really produced for me over the years, and this is actually my hottest seller right now. Next is my streamer jig, and this is actually very similar to a kiptail jig. However, it's fished on a minnow head lead head, so it just has a little bit of different action. This jig also works really well for trout, but it's more designed for deeper water fishing of mine, so for example wider streams and rivers, and also deeper lakes, and it works great for the larger trout and bass. The streamer jig is also tied with kiptail, so the action is fairly similar, however, like I said, it's just going to be different for different applications. This next jig is called a woolly bugger jig, and as you can see, it's very similar to a traditional woolly bugger fish on a fly rod. However, with the minnow head on it, it can be fished with spinning gear much more effectively and much more easily. The applications to this jig are actually very similar to the streamer jig. However, it can be fished in almost any body of water. On this particular jig, I started with a minnow head painted, and I used some chenille, hackle, marabou, and some crystal flash for attractant. And finally, my last jig that I'm selling is actually not really a jig at all. It's a midge, and these midges were originally designed to be fished on a fly rod. However, on a recent trip to the Sierras, we saw a whole bunch of brown trout within, you know, the 15-inch range, and they would just not bite on anything. Well, we didn't bring, we didn't have our fly rods with us, so what we did is just fish these uh, fly line style, and uh, some of us were fishing them under a small bobber and the fish were immediately turned on and immediately started biting and we were catching these 15 inch browns which isn't very big but for the amount that were in a small area it was pretty good fishing so I highly recommend buying a few of these for your tackle box as well. Well that pretty much covers it for all my jigs. For a full description on each individual jig, what materials I use, what colors are available, what sizes are available, go ahead and go to the video description right here on your right and you'll see a link which will redirect you to a website that gives all this information out. As far as prices go, all these jigs I sell for extremely cheap. Cheaper than you'll find at any store or any tackle shop. So for those prices, just go ahead and click that link that I just mentioned. If you still are looking for more information, feel free to send me an email at sean at hookupsportfishing.com. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my video and have a nice day.